Hey, what's up, everybody? I want to welcome you to the conversation. This is Charles here. Let's get into the content. So today, we're going to be talking about Kawhi Leonard and his return to the Toronto Raptors. Now, first things first, the NBA schedule has come out, and there are going to be a lot of exciting games, especially on Christmas and, an op- and, and on opening day. The Lakers are going to be playing against the Clippers and so many other exciting games, and the games that are going to be happening on Christmas. But the schedule for the Clippers also came out that they're going to be returning where Kawhi Leonard is going to be returning to Toronto to go face his former team that he won the NBA championship for on December 11. And I'm totally intrigued by this. Why? You guys remember when LeBron left Cleveland to go to Miami and he came back the next year? Remember when they were burning all of his jerseys and he came back and he was booed? And that's and, and he was booed in the state that he's actually from. That he's, he's from uh, Cleveland, Ohio. That, he's from Ohio. Kawhi Leonard is not from Toronto. He's from L.A. So it's going to be really interesting to see how Toronto Raptors fans respond to him. Now, here's some things to take into consideration. First thing, he went there to go play for one year. He was injured. A lot of people were saying that he was faking his injury. People like Skip Bayless and all these people saying he was faking his injury. Got traded from the San Antonio Spurs to go play for the Toronto Raptors. Decided to, He said he was going to play out that year and see how everything goes. Most people had no idea how good he was. He was coming off an injury, and he did. He was the one that really took the load management to the next level and, you know, not playing. I think he didn't play for over 20-something games during the season. So the Toronto Raptors were just sort of flying under the radar. They had the two seed. They were a very good team with him on the team and off the team as well. But when they got into the playoffs, nobody was really looking for them. I remember, you guys remember, he people were talking about the, you know, the, the 76ers. They were talking about... The Celtics, I know Stephen A. Smith was really big on the Celtics, and people were talking about the Milwaukee Bucks. No one was really talking about the Toronto Raptors. Yeah, they had a good seed, but they were like, yeah, no, because you didn't know, because a lot of it was, you know, recency bias of what they had been going through in the past with LeBron beating them time and time again. They had really good, they had a really good record in the regular season, and they get to the playoffs, and they get bounced. So no one was really checking for them, and I remember when they went through the first round. They beat Orlando. I think they dropped game one, came back and beat them four straight. Everybody expected that. Then they went to go play the Sixers, took them seven games, but they beat the Sixers. After they beat the Sixers with that last shot that Kawhi Leonard hit at the buzzer, I think that's when people were just like, okay, okay, we have something here. That's when people started paying attention to him because he hit the biggest shot. In the fi- Prior to that, it was Damian Lillard who hit the shot over Paul George, if you guys remember, in OKC to end their season. But then when Kawhi Leonard hit that shot over Joel Embiid and all, you know, the, the 76ers defenders, that was when people were like, whoa, this is the greatest shot, one of the greatest shots. And it created so much controversy. People were saying that was the luckiest shot, all of this stuff. Then he went against the Greek Freak, dropped the first two games, then came back and beat the Greek, beat the Milwaukee Bucks four straight games. You guys remember this. Got to the finals against Golden State. And people were still picking Golden State. And they said if Kevin Durant came back from his injury, it was going to be for sure that the Golden State Warriors are going to beat uh, the, you know, the Toronto Raptors. Kevin Durant ended up coming back in Game 5 towards Achilles. Toronto Raptors kept the series competitive, and they beat them in six games. This dude went on to win the Finals MVP on his first year on a new team that had never won an NBA championship in history. Kawhi Leonard was able to pull that off, making him one of the only players out there to win two championships, with, win a championship with two separate teams putting him in rarefied air with Kareem, LeBron himself, and someone else that I'm, that I'm forgetting, unfortunately. But now the question is, how are these fans going to receive him when they come back? Given the fact that Toronto has never won, the Raptors have never won an NBA championship, thinking about all the hype and the excitement and how people like Drake and all the fans were going crazy, they were just salivating for this could be the moment that we finally get the championship and this guy comes to your town plays for a year, and delivers. Didn't really talk about free agency. Didn't really get into the hoopla. Never really led the media on. Was pretty tight-lipped about everything. Delivered the championship. So I'm going to be really interested to see when he goes back on December 11th to go play in Toronto, how are the fans going to receive him? Are they going to boo him? Are they going to cheer for him? Are they going to be indifferent? Are they going to be silent? My, My guess is that they're going to cheer for the dude and give him a standing ovation. There is no good reason... For Toronto Raptors fans to, to, to boo Kawhi Leonard. It's like getting into a relationship. You realize the relationship is not going to work. So you tell a person, okay, I'll give you a million dollars to end this relationship. 
yeah, you'd be mad that they left you, but damn, you have a million dollars in your pocket. So in the case of the Toronto Raptors, they actually have a championship banner that they're going to be hanging. And it's going to be interesting because they're going to be giving out their rings on opening night. So I wonder how Kawhi is going to get his ring considering he's playing with another team. But I think that he's going to get a standing ovation. So what I want to know is, if there are any Toronto Raptors fans watching this video, how do you feel about Kawhi Leonard's return to uh, Toronto? Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you indifferent? Are you going to boo the guy? Are you going to cheer for him? That's what I want to know. For the general fans, I want to know what you guys think. How do you think you're going to receive this guy when he gets back? That's what I want to know from you guys. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Peace.